April is my birth month and so I'm very excited for this April TBR. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and it is April, the month of my birth. I'm going to be 27 this year. Feels a little unreal. But anyways, I digress. Let's just jump into what I'm going to be reading this month. So one of my goals for 2022 is to set TPRs that I will actually achieve. And so I've realized the key to doing this is to having a lot of books that are like in different genres or formats and also leaving a lot of room that I can finish my TBR but also read any other books that suit my mood because I am kind of both of like a list reader but also a mood reader so I like to kind of have a mix of both in there so there's more options. The first category that I want to start with this month is like my favorite genre ever and that is fantasy romance and so in April I picked out two fantasy romance books that I definitely want to get to. The first one is What Lies Beyond the Veil by Harper L. Woods. I've heard so many good things about this one um, and I love that all of the chapter heads are like snicks like this. <laughs> I just think it's such a nice design. I feel like indie authors sometimes have like the best book designs. Um, they definitely have like a lot of freedom to do really cool things in the exterior and interior of their book. So I love it. This is series is called Of Flesh and Bone. So this is about a place where the people used to worship the Fae as gods because they protected them from the veil. But once the Fae vanished, they no longer had their protection and so their lives shifted from that of decadence to one of survival. Our main character has spent her whole life in the gardens next to the boundary between the magic and the regular world and she has been drawn to the magic there. One day the veil shatters and the fae are unleashed upon the world. The magic of fairy marks those that the fae mean to take, but the misguard protecting Northrek will do anything to stop those fae from taking those people. And so our main character must flee. Our main character is saved by someone named Caitlin who is also fae marked and he actually has the ability to fight back, whereas our main character kind of cowers. And so they form this bond and there's passion between them. And yes, I want to read this. Just seems so cool. I love dark fantasy romance fate books and this will deliver. Next, we have Between Wrath and Mercy by Jess Wisecup. I'm so excited for this one because this has characters that are in their 30s, which I feel is a really not well explored niche in fantasy romance. And also the female main character is a woman. And the tagline is, a mother will do anything to save her child, no matter the cost. Emmeline Highclere's daughter is the one that is prophesied to bring peace to all three kingdoms, but she's taken by the enemy, and so she will do anything to get her daughter back. Emmeline has lived the past 16 years in grief and isolation, but she will do anything to see her daughter again. She must face her painful fast and get help from the one man she thought she would never see again. This sounds so cool, and like I love that there's like a mother element. I just think, again, this is like a very small market that needs more books because I'm so excited for this one. Also it is way bigger than I thought it would be. Um, many pages, I'm also just like by size bigger but can't wait to read this one. Next we have my dark romances that I'm going to be reading and this month I really want to focus on reading through Sophie Lark. So Sophie Lark is a really popular author on TikTok and Bookstagram and I have a whole vlog where I read her books for the first time and I haven't read anything since that vlog so I really want to continue and just read through her stuff. So I'm putting I think the rest of the Brutal Birthright series on my TBR for the month and then whatever else I get to is whatever else I get to. But I will talk about the last four in the Brutal Birthright series. And if you don't know, the Brutal Birthright series is a mafia dark romance series that is set in modern day Chicago, really focusing on the Italian and Irish mafias. So the book that I'm starting with is Savage Lover, which is book three, and this one stars Nero Gallo, and he is like the very reckless child of the Italian mafia, and he really has a thing for cars, and his love interest is Camille Rivera, who is very poor, um, and she works in her father's mechanic shop, and it is their love story. Then book four is Bloody Heart, and this one follows Dante Gallo, who is the very hardened um, older brother that is kind of like the muscle of the family in the Italian mafia, and this is a second chance romance between him and his first love. Simone, who is the daughter of a diplomat, they had a whirlwind romance and then were kind of ripped apart by fate, and then it's about them coming back together. The fourth book is about Riona Griffin, who is the very high-strung type A daughter of the Irish mafia, and this is a story about her and a cowboy. 
This one's called Broken Vow, by the way. I don't think I know. I mentioned the title. Someone is trying to kill Riona, so she needs a bodyguard. And it's a bodyguard romance. Ah, love that. So excited. Then the last book in the series is Heavy Crown. And this one follows Sebastian Gallo. And he is like the baby of the Italian family. And basically he had a very promising basketball career ahead of him. And then he got in some like mafia fight and his knee was shattered and his dreams were shattered. He kind of like forms a fling with the daughter of the Bratva boss in Chicago and the Bratva, the Russian mafia. Love these series so much. I may continue on to the Kingmaker series, which is like, a mafia children academy which is so so fun and like her books are beloved because and i am one of them that beloves them so please check out my vlog if you haven't and yes i'm just going to continue reading sophie lark and loving all of her works i literally think i've given like most of her books five stars because i'm obsessed with them then next we have two audiobooks that i want to read this month i recently got back into audiobooks i love them so much they are just so much fun to like just listen to especially now that i'm taking the train to work instead of driving it's really nice to just kind of like sit there and zone out in the morning listening to an audiobook i'll either do that or read on my kindle um but i do just like really enjoy my audiobooks it's a different way to consume media and i tend to listen to different types of books on audio than i would read physically so it's nice to kind of get that those different genres so one genre that i've been reading a lot of via audio is YA contemporary and i was always like i don't know if YA contemporary is for me but i realized that something about listening to them it's just different than reading them maybe because it feels more like a friend is like having this heart to heart conversation with me and i just really like listening to them on audio and they're like so cute and give me the butterflies in march i read a few like YA contemporary audiobooks and i adored them stay tuned for my march wrap up to hear more about that i haven't done a wrap up in a while but i promise they're coming i'm gonna try and catch up on everything uh, so, yeah. so the first one that i will be reading this month is a fun love story by lo and lee and i decided to read this one because my best friend keely was like hey i love this i think you would like it and so i'm like this is your favorite book i'm gonna read it so bao nujin works at his parents pho restaurant and he's kind of like sees himself as just this very average guy and then we have Lin Mai, and she's like a firecracker. And she works at her family's pho restaurant, which is in competition with Bao's family restaurant. So for years, the Mai's and the Nujins have been in fierce competition. But when a chance encounter brings Bai and Lin into the same vicinity, despite their family feud, sparks fly. And so they wonder if they can make their connection work, even when their families are so deep in their feud and hatred for one another. So cute i love like food themed things ah sounds so delicious delicious and then the next one is i'll be the one by lila lee and i've been wanting to read this one for a really really long time because i follow the cover model on tiktok and she does k-pop cover dances she's actually also going to be on uh lizzo's new show about finding plus size dancers i forget the exact name of it now but i really want to watch that show because i would just it just seems awesome i love lizzo i love this cover model i love watching all of her cover dances of my favorite k-pop songs and this is a book about a girl who is plus size and decides that she wants to be a k-pop star and i feel like it's going to bring up so many important conversations because i myself am a bit of a k-pop fan and i think that there are a lot of like toxic unhealthy body standards in the industry so as like a fan it's something that i just like need to be aware of and like not compare myself to the people in those situations because like the dieting and the stuff is like so so extreme um, but I think it's just gonna have like some really important eye-opening conversations while also just being like adorable Yeah, I'm just really excited to read this one and Lila Lee also has a, another book coming out soon I think it's called flip the script and it's about <sighs> This k-drama star and it's like they hire this girl to be the rival love interest of like the guy So it's like a love triangle with the guy and the two girls but then the two girls fall for each other off screen like perfection so i really want to get into this author if i like the audiobook for i'll be the one i will probably also listen to flip the script on audio just because i love it that way but if i love the books i'll probably buy a physical copy but i don't want to get ahead of myself and buy a physical copy before i know i love it you know what i mean <laughs> trying to be good with my book buying i will have a book haul up soon so clearly like i haven't been that good I've been a little naughty Next is a graphic novel that I want to read, and this one is going to be Heartstopper Volume 3. I would potentially put Heartstopper Volume 4 on this list, but um, I don't know when the, my hold is going to come through from the library, which is what I'm really waiting on. So yeah, I read Heartstopper Volume 2 last month. 
adored it. I'm ready to continue on with the series and then watch the show when it comes out. Oh, I'm so excited for the show. It's just Heartstopper is the story of Nick and Charlie and Nick is gay and he is out in his school and then um, he kind of develops a crush on his friend Charlie and Charlie realizes some things about his sexuality and it is their story together and it is the cutest thing with so many important themes and I just feel like this series just gets cuter and cuter and I just need to continue reading it. Also, one of the best tie-in covers I've ever seen for volume one, I think because they basically didn't change it, they just put the real people in where the comic people were, but I, I love it. Next is an arc that I need to read and it is a rollover from last month and that is going to be my historical romance of the month because I'm trying to read one historical month and that is To Marry Into Metal by Martha Waters. I read the last book in this series last year when it came out and this one is about Lady Emily Turner and she's been um, out in society for six years. She hasn't found a match because her father is in debt and then we have Lord Julian who's trying to make his theater a respectable establishment but it's not really that respectable um, and so they decide to go into a marriage of convenience to help each other out but then their feelings turn inconvenient so i like this they're like historical rom-coms with a modern twist always love to read it i do have one arc to maybe get to i might also get to it in may depending on um because it is out in may so i just need to get my review out like around then um but that is the wedding season by katie birchall i read her book uh i forget what it's called last year loved it this one is similar but different this is about a girl that basically like gets left at the altar and then she has to go to like a summer of weddings as happens when you get older and all your friends are getting married and so like her friend group decides to make it fun instead of miserable for her and she has to go through like all of these dares at each wedding it just sounds so cute and fun and lighthearted and like her last book was really strong on the female friendships and so i hope that this one is too and i just love the cover it's adorable so i'm so excited to read this one and last but not least, I want to start incorporating more YA fantasy into my TBRs because I do miss reading it. Um, so for this month, the YA fantasy that I want to get to is Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. I love Rebecca Ross's writing. It's just so lyrical and magical. This book um, is about Clementine and this is about dreams, Dreams Lie Beneath. So every new moon, magic flows from the mountains and can bring nightmares to life. And only magicians who serve as territory wards can keep this magic at bay. Clementine is going to be a warden magician following in the footsteps of her father while she really yearns to explore the wilder side of magic. However, she is drawn into a conflict with two enemy magicians and so she kind of like seeks revenge on this one magician that got into a duel with her father but as they become closer things are not always as they appear and it's like just supposed to be about like family and the captivating power of dreams and I mean, just look at this cover. It's exactly what I want in a book. And then I also got this like really cool comic as a pre-order incentive. I'm just very excited to read this. Let me know down below what you plan on reading in this wonderful month of April. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.